Alright guys, uh, sorry I haven't done a video in a long time, uh, we've been on holiday, work, yeah. exams, things, but yeah, all, that's all done now. Um, so today we're finally down at Barrett's for the afternoon, um, it took us quite a while to schedule this session, but we managed to just sneak it in. Yeah, just a quick afternoon, evening sort of thing, you've got to go at half five, yeah, I'll be down here till seven. Um, apologies for the wind, there's not really a lot we can do about it, um, it seems to be everywhere. Um, Trying some new yeah. swims. Uh, up, up. We've fished here before, but not very often. Um, we're right up the far end of the lake where the bigger fish are rumoured to kind of dwell. So, yeah. fingers crossed, we can sneak out one or two in the next sort of um, well, the next few hours. Um, I don't mind what size. I haven't caught. Feel, feels like I haven't caught carp in ages. So, I'll take anything right now. Hopefully, um, you've uh, viewed our other video that Josh put up this morning. Uh, uh, sea fishing video. Yeah, we went to Silly Isles, fish with some rats. So. Um, check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, just hopefully we can sneak a fish out or two. And, uh, Thanks for being patient and we'll see you in, in a little while. In a few minutes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. about kind of a recent development with our channel. Um, we were recently contacted by, uh, well we got in contact initially with a company called Chronicle Fishing. Um, they're a blogging company, they have a pretty popular Twitter account, Facebook page, a lot really, um, website and they basically, it's a kind of a gathering of bloggers and uh, YouTube, well a few YouTubers, a few video diaries yeah. and stuff and they kind of, they're interested in what we did and uh, got in contact again that they'd really like us to be kind of part of the team so we're kind of be blogging sessions from now on and uh, uploading these videos and uh, uploading written blogs to their website um, kind of build our audience a bit but also uh, Chronicle write for a magazine called the Big Cart magazine but as it turns out it's quite a um, well read nationwide newspaper uh, or magazine and um, very large audience and they they have an article well a column each month um, basically for diary pieces from certain lakes and, uh, and, uh, we, we've uh, chosen a lake that we what? haven't really fished before well we're going to keep it on the hush hush yeah. until we do fish it chance that our first session might be there next week um, Tuesday to Wednesday hopefully it's very exclusive fishing 
and uh, we uh, yeah we reckon there's some pretty special fish in there. Uh, it's going to be tough, but um, we're basically um, planning to be doing diary pieces for this magazine, which means at the lake, at the lake, which means each month we'll be featuring a piece from the lake, uh, kind of writing up about our catch reports, um, and these hopefully will be published in this magazine. Um, gives us a bit more kind of uh, audience, help us out a bit, and also means um, we can bring you more stuff um, because of this. So hopefully, like, there's been a few people asking us when are we gonna like target bigger lakes, bigger fish. Yeah, and that, we kind of we've been keeping it hush hush until this moment. This is kind of our opportunity. Yeah. yeah, so we're taking it with kind of open arms, and uh, yeah. So Chronicle just wanted us to let you know about this recent development so we can start uh, publishing stuff for them and uh, it mean it won't this won't affect what we put into our vlog into our vlogs you know, our vlogs where yeah. we go on, but it will kind of will help boost our uh, how we kind of get out there so yeah hopefully it's quite a decent development and uh, we'll, let, we'll keep you guys kind of tuned on how it pans out yeah, yeah. Alright then, I've just gone and caught this absolute beauty of a common. Just gone £13.1. Um, literally just moved swim. Um, this moved from the near margin spot right out to where I saw a big slick in the middle. So there was a big gust came over and there was this massive clear patch in the water. And I thought, I've got to get some bait out there, I've got to get a rod out. Exactly what I did. This tore off within about two minutes and, well, it came in nice, well, it felt heavy. But came in all right to the rod tip, but then just not give up. Probably a good 15 minute scrap, well, no, 10 minute scrap underneath the rod tip. And have, just have a look at that. That's just an absolute beauty of a common. Um, James has gone home, so I'll see if I can get someone to help me with some photos, but I'm so chuffed with this. It's made the session for me. Um, gonna pop them back in the net, get the camera out, and uh, see if we can do this fishing justice.